Well, it's Sunday, so that means it's time for our Sports Zone Top 5 Plays of the Week. We had so much to choose from this week that some very deserving plays got left out. I've said it before, but sometimes we need a Sports Zone Top 10 Plays of the Week. Well, let's see who made the cut and who was number one. And you can't get to number one until you start with number five. And at number five, we start on the pitch. Morningside women's soccer hosting Northwestern. Morningside's Ida Carlson passes it to Kyra Harmon, who sends it to the top corner for the goal. Her teammates love it as the Mustangs take an early lead. Morningside would go on to win five to one. At number four, staying on the pitch. Morningside and Northwestern. Corner kick for Morningside. The keeper gets out of position, and Yannick Vogel just lobs it over him for the first goal of the night. Morningside would go on to win five nothing over the Red Raiders. At number three, the other football, Spirit Lake hosting Clarion Goldfield Downs. The Indians on their own one yard line. Caden Lunt finds Dylan Stecker, who goes 99 yards for the Spirit Lake touchdown. That's one of Lunt's six touchdown passes on the night. That puts the Indians up 35 to nothing, and they cruise to the easy 42 nothing win over Clarion Goldfield Downs. Moving on to number two, Norfolk Catholic hosting Battle Creek. Braves up seven to six. Norfolk Catholic's Max Heyman. Hammond with this amazing grab, fully extended with one hand for 40 yards. We're gonna see it again in slow motion. Hammond with complete concentration on the catch. Norfolk Catholic would go on to win 19-14 over Battle Creek to remain undefeated on the season. And at number one, from last night's South Dakota Class A State Soccer Championship, Vermillion taking on JVC, match tied at two late. Vermillion's Ian Job is clutch as he knocks in the goal that is the difference maker. Vermillion goes on to capture the Class A title 3-2 over JVC. And that is your Sports Zone Top 5 Plays of the Week.